Hello Technology Crazy here and today I'm going to be doing a new series or over the next few weeks on Xcode. So I just got a Mac computer so I'm really excited about making these tutorials. Basically it's how to make applications for the iPhone, iPad and so on. Uh, so I'm going to be learning the same time you guys do so I hope I do a good job. Excuse me if I make any mistakes uh, just because I'm a beginner too. Basically, if you want to download Xcode, all you have to do is go into the, uh, the description, and I have all the source codes there, I have all the project files, and I also have where to download Xcode and how to get it and all its own. Um, so, once you get it, all, all you have to do is create a new Xcode project and view-based application and click Next. Now, we're going to be making up a simple pro uh, pop-up program, so you can call it pop-up. Simply, when you press a button, it will... Uh, make a pop-up appear. So I'm just going to be quickly going over Xcode 4 just for all you beginners um, just to explain how everything works. Basically over here we have product or the project so here we can change our version, device, the firmware will work on, um, the portrait or landscape, icons, launch icons, and you just simply drag in icon or images in here uh, to set them. It, it's really simple. It's only in Xcode 4 though so I suggest getting it. Now we're going to be working on with these three files here, the view controllers. So the viewcontroller.xib, the viewcontroller.m, and the viewcontroller.h. Now in the .h, this is where we declare our actions. So uh, this is where we create an action. So the button is when you when you press a button and the button does something, that's called an action. Now we declare it in in the .h. So uh, yeah, we we make it in in the .m. This is where we say that when that button is pressed, we want to call the action here and that action is connected to the dot m and the dot n will tell it what to do and in the dot xib this is our basic user interface whatever we drag on or write on here will show on the iphone screen and uh, you can make more than one dot uh, xib so in the future tutorials i'm going to be teaching you how to make up multiple views how to connect them in buttons with buttons and stuff uh, but first we're going to make a button so in the dot xib uh, we're just going to be clicking on two buttons here just to make this tutorial faster if we click on the center one right here it shows the, the code and our interface builder thing here and if we press the one over here it'll also show our I forgot what it's called but it, it's our preference thing so if we click on the screen in the interface builder we can go to this little icon right here and we can change our background color to whatever we want and you can change all the stuff here oops you can change uh, portrait landscapes status bar you can do a whole bunch of things here just experiment around with it and um, here we can link our actions to our Xcode but what, what we're gonna be doing is all we have to do is drag in a round rec button right here and we're gonna call it pop-up now we're gonna be taking a shortcut because we are in in, er, in Xcode 4 if we hold down control we can drag from the button and underneath the squarely er, yeah the squarely bracket and uh, choose action and we're gonna make pop up and make sure it's touch up inside now if you don't have this file right here all you have to do is um, click up here oh, over here top level and click your dot H um, so what this does is it actually connects this button with this action right here and it also makes a, another action in our dot M uh, so we can declare what the thing will do. Now, if you don't have the, if you don't use the control option, you might need to know this in the future. That's why I'm showing you this. Uh, but if we click on Files Owner here, and we click on the icon farthest to the right, we have uh, Received Actions, and you can also connect outlets and stuff. All you'd have to do is drag to our button. You can also right-click on the uh, Files Owner and drag your your pop-up button right here. Um, but we already did that so we don't need to do it twice it's already pre-connected with for us um, so now we're done with our dot H and we're done with our dot XIB now we're gonna go to our dot M our view controller dot M now in between these two squarely brackets that's where we declare what the action will do I'm just gonna quickly copy and paste a bit of code you can get this bit of code from the in the description I have it all there or you can just download the whole project if you uh, don't want to type or copy any of this in um, basically, I'm going to be quickly going over what all the stuff means. So first, we have UI alert view, and we are going to call it alert view right here. 
and we're gonna take that name and put it over here alert view equals square bracket square bracket UI alert view alloc square bracket in it with title and we're gonna this is where we put our title so uh, type whatever we want just in between a um, a at sign into quotation marks that's all that's the general thing for Xcode when you're typing in names and stuff like that you can see it up here too um, message is what we want it to show delicate we're gonna set to nil because we don't need to use it nil means uh, just ignore it skip it cancel button is uh, we're gonna call cancel and other buttons we don't need any other so we're just gonna do nil and nil uh, alert view show uh, this just basically shows our alert and uh, alert view release oops okay so um, you're gonna realize that this is a lot of code and you might also realize that if you start typing things it will guess what you're gonna say so if I do a UI alert I can press enter and that comes really handy when you're doing uh, this whole section right here because it'll actually guess that whole section and then all you have to do is right click or click on the title and message and cancel and uh, just fill in what you want so it'll set the template up for you um, but of course you can also go to the link in the description and copy it over um, so after that we can go to pop-up we can choose what we want to run it on we can run it on a simulator or ISO device if it's hooked up but I don't have one hooked up right now so um, iPhone 4, 4 or yeah iPhone 4.3 simulator and click run now it has no problem so it will run and if we click pop-up there we go our pop-up high and cancel um, so that's all from for this video I'm gonna be doing a few more in the next few weeks uh, please comment rate subscribe and check the description I'm gonna have all the new videos in there um, basically that's all from technology crazy goodbye okay so I almost forgot the pygmy program winner this week is mega tech crazy he won again um, basically he makes uh, tech videos and so on and uh, please go and check him out go and subscribe if you click on the click me button on your screen right now I'll take you right to his channel uh, basically he makes pretty good tech videos so I uh, definitely go and check him out if you want to be part of the pick me program all you have to do is go to my latest video and say pick me as many times as you want I have an automatic uh, generator that randomly picks someone so the more times you say pick me the better um, and basically you can be in my next video and I'll do a free shout out for you I do one every single video so uh, I guess that's all from technology crazy goodbye